Hi everybody, it's Gia. Welcome to my channel, or if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. On this channel we talk about things like minimalism, frugal living, saving money, uh, things of that nature, and sometimes just random stuff I feel like talking about. So today I'd like to talk about a book that has recently blown my mind, kind of changed my perspective on things. It's a very well known book called Your Money or Your Life, and it is written by Vicky Robin and Joe Dominguez. Dominguez? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's a very good book if you haven't read it. It's about basically um, managing your finances, how to retire early if you so desire, um, finding your passion and what drives you in life, and just kind of um, cutting down on the non-essentials and just focusing on what's really important and drives you and gives you purpose in life. So today I'd like to talk about a part of the book that talks about... Um, fulfillment and knowing how much money is enough like how much can you realistically live with without feeling the desire or the need to gain more and more and more because like what what is your goal amount of money that you think you're going to need to be able to say like retire early retire now like because we need a certain amount of money to live but anything over that is just an excess and we're just continuously going to keep chasing this imaginary infinite amount of money going I'm gonna be happy when I hit this when I hit this and it's just I think people have a very strong compulsion to make more and more money without any real knowledge as to like why so a big theme of the book is you spend uh, life energy making money so what that basically means is um, the amount of hours you work and all this like this is all chipping into you know the minutes the seconds the hours, the days, the months, the years of your life. So you have to make it worthwhile and knowing how much money you realistically need to, you know, live on, have a fulfilling life and be content with is a very, very good thing to consider. Because otherwise you're just chasing this infinite amount of money that is never going to be enough because you don't know how much you actually need to be content and to be secure. If you think about how much time you're putting into work, how much of your identity is wrapped up in your career or what you do. Because one of the first things people ask is like, what do you do for a living? I don't think you should put the best years of your life into working for someone else to build up somebody else's company in a job that you don't like. You just do it to make, you know, make that paycheck and then you blow the paycheck on something useless and then you go get another paycheck and then you blow that to just kind of deal with the... Um, discontentment of just working buying working buying working buying we all get wrapped up in it it's kind of like the the purchasing is our re our reward for working so hard it's like well I deserve a treat I deserve something nice what is enough how much is enough money um, what is that imaginary magic number that is going to make you happy and content and you're just gonna go all right that's enough now I don't need to earn a cent above this what is that imaginary number? We kind of put our wants and our needs on the same line a lot of the time without actually considering what's actually essential, what can I live without, what do I actually need. Um, we live in a culture that is very consumerist based and we spend money as fast as we make it. It just comes in and it goes out just as fast or even quicker and we're in debt. And that is how our society runs. It's basically advertising all the time saying you need this. It's just the culture of more, more, more. And we don't know when enough is enough because we don't sit down with ourselves and actually question what is enough and then what is just excess. And I think a lot of us think we just deserve these nice things because we've worked hard all week. We deserve a treat. We deserve to pamper ourselves. But we also need to know when enough is enough. We need to look at it objectively and look at it through a different lens and question everything that's being fed to us because a lot of the time we don't actually think we just um, take on this media propaganda and messaging and kind of just internalize it and go we, we just we just don't think about it we just accept it we go this is our culture this is what our culture does we consume we buy we get into debt that is just what everybody does and look where that's getting everyone where's that money going it's going to a bigger house it's going to a better car it's going to more clothes it's going to all these different things but the thing is we're making this money and then it's going like we're spending it so quickly for a lot of really pointless crap that we don't actually need 
So then, you know what, we go back to work, we make more money, we spend more money, and the cycle just goes and goes and goes until we retire, basically. And then we get a couple of years of um, not having to work, and then we die. That is pretty much the cycle, and that is what has been fed to us uh, from day one. And no one really, well, not many people seem to actually question that and go, um, I actually don't want to do that. That seems a little bit redundant and points. Money is a means to sustain ourselves and, you know, function in society. But an excess of money makes us uh, greedy, makes us fearful. Like, you know, people who win the lottery and stuff, like, they just don't know what to do with that excess amount of money. They, like, freak out and they... It's becomes the more we have, like, the more stuff we have, the more fearful we can become. Because it's this sudden fear of a loss. It's this fear of, I've accumulated all this, but what if it just mysteriously goes and all my self-worth and all of my time and energy has been... Um, directed into making this money to buy this stuff and this stuff now becomes my identity, it becomes part of who I am. Um, so we fear losing this sense of identity that we've uh, accumulated and we've claimed to be ours, but it's not, it's just stuff. We've completely forgotten that we are people, we are not things. We use things, we should be using things, we should not be accumulating an excess of things. Like this is how everyone lives their life and pretty much everyone's in debt. So this is obviously not working. These are very, like people feel unfulfilled, they hate their jobs. They just keep going to their nine to five until the day they die or until they retire. And they're just, they don't, they're not happy. They don't seem happy. They kind of just get on with life and don't question anything beyond what they have been taught and what they know. Um, so I believe it's important to know how much money and how much stuff you actually need because then you have so much more freedom to be able to choose what to do with your time and your energy if you're not constantly, you know, showing up to a 40 hour work week and 9 to 5 um, you have so much more opportunity to follow your passions and follow what you want to do in life and not be tied down and committed to this job you don't like. If you are smart and you are frugal and you know how to save, you know how to invest, you, you just know how to make money work for you and how to use money, um, that's the key. So they talk about accountability, knowing how much money is going in and out. Um, so budgeting, uh, keeping track of all of your money, like all, like even down to like the cents and all that. Like I personally do that, I keep a budget. Um, anytime I spend money, all money comes in. Um, write it down, uh, track it. You need to know where your money's going. You need to know what's coming in. Because otherwise you're just going to be, you know, you'll have no clue where it's all going. And it's important to know, you need to make your money work for you. It's also important to have an internal yardstick for fulfillment. Because if we base our lifestyle and how we view the world on what we think other people are doing or what we think is going to, um, appease others and all this like we're going to be constantly chasing like the next thing to try to be better than the next person we're constantly comparing ourselves to others and that is an endless game like that doesn't end so you need to know when to put your foot down and go no i'm going to stop comparing my life and myself to other people because i'm not them like i don't need to be constantly chasing the next thing to try to impress the next person it's just it's pointless it is so pointless. And I know as people, we do crave the approval and the validation of others. And I think in a healthy sense, like that is a good thing. It is good to have community and to be part of something bigger than yourself. But if you're constantly chasing things and chasing stuff to impress the next person to, you know, it, it doesn't end. It's just a constant cycle and you are going to lose every single time because you can't win that game. It's just pointless the whole keeping up with the Joneses approach and it's just it doesn't work you need to be learn to be content and happy with what you have and stop comparing your life and your possessions to others you need a purpose in life higher than satisfying your wants and desires otherwise it will never be enough the same thing it's just if you are just basing your life on accumulating stuff and things and possessions and money it's just going to you're going to have a miserable existence, you really are, because you're putting all of your energy and all of your 
you know, your life into other things. Like, you need to invest in people, not stuff. And this is something people get so caught up on now. We live in a culture that is so, me, myself, and I, like, you deserve this. You know, you need this. Like, you, you, it's all this you, 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 you. We've completely lost senses of community. Like, we are such a lonely generation of people, and we're just always just glued to our technology, to our phones, and just, you know, social media, but we don't connect. We're trying to fill a hole. We're trying to fill a void. We're trying to fill it with stuff and things rather than actually investing in ourselves and actually reaching out and helping other people, being involved with other people in their lives. We have just become so self-centered and that is a perfect recipe for complete unhappiness because we're not meant to live like that. We're not meant to be um, independent of each other. We're not. As much as everyone likes to encourage the whole like, you know, you know, you know, be independent, do your own thing, it's all that. It's such a draining way to live and that's not how we're designed. I truly believe that. I think we are designed for community and we are designed for connection. But we're putting all of this energy and all of this time and money into stuff. We're not using it as it's meant to be used. We're just putting it on a pedestal, we're claiming it as our God and we're just saying work, 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 work for this imaginary infinite number <laughs> that we're never going to reach because we're never going to be happy and as soon as we hit that number guess what it's the next number it's the next number because we're placing such a strong emphasis on making money without knowing why we're putting that emphasis on it to begin with we need others around us we need our community there's a really good uh quote from albert einstein uh which he said in 1950 which says a human being is part of a whole called by us universe a part limited in time and space he experiences himself, his thoughts and feelings as something separated from the rest, a kind of optical delusion of his consciousness. This delusion is a kind of prison for us, restricting us to our personal desires and to affection for a few persons nearest us. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison by widening our circles of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature in its beauty. And I think that is so true. We need other people. We need nature. We need something bigger than ourselves. Call it God, call, call it religion, call it spirituality, nature, um, whatever your higher source of purpose is, chase that. Chase that with everything. When you're smart with money, it affords you so many opportunities you would not have otherwise. You can retire earlier, you can um, have more time to spend with friends and family and loved ones. You can invest in things you are interested in and passionate about. There are so many opportunities and so many different ways of thinking and being that just need to be explored and discovered and just breaking out of the mould of how you are taught and how you've been raised to view money and um, career and work. Like, it is good to be busy. It is good to fill our lives with things and be, to be doing things. People are meant to do things. But the things we are doing are not bringing us fulfilment and happiness. They're making us miserable and we're just doing it to chase money to buy the things so if you could get rid of that concept of needing this excess of money and just being able to be happy with what you have and to be able to be smart and sustainable and just take what you need buy what you need take what you need and then have all this time to do the things you're actually passionate about and live the life you actually want to lead i think that is a beautiful thing so sorry if this is a bit rambly i didn't really have a um, idea where I really wanted to go with this but I wanted to wanted to talk about it anyway but thank you so much for watching and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye